how do you, what do you do with people who are apprehended in war against you generally? And I think there's been a, I just, I'm stunned at the response of so many people in America that somehow people who are POWs should be tried or that they're detainees. Let's take it out of the POW category because uh, we had 400, or was it 4 million Germans or something that we detained in the Second World War at one time or another. We'd still be trying them if we gave them so-called so due process. And uh, if, if, if the detainee says that I was carrying a hoe and was out gardening and wasn't really fighting you guys, and our soldier says he was carrying a Kalashnikov, do we have to have a judicial proceeding to find that out? If we do, we're in trouble. Uh, just think of it for a minute. You, gotta, you bring the guy to a prison camp to detain him. Let's first of all say, why do you detain him? I think in antiquity, you didn't detain people, take prisoners. You just, you, you know what take no prisoners means? You kill everybody on the battlefield. Uh, the alternative to killing people or detaining them is to release them back, sort of take another shot is the sort of here, you know, you want your gun back or you think it's a hoe, you know, whatever it is, but anyhow. Uh, you know, I've got a son who's a naval officer and he spent two tours of duty in the Gulf, so I, our family is not in favor of releasing people once they've been captured so they can take another shot at our family, but there are people who say to do that. So I think detaining people, removing them from the stream of battle by the collective wisdom of mankind has been a humanitarian act in terms of war circumstances. Then the question is, how long do you detain them or do you charge them? In normal war settings, anyhow, you don't charge people. We didn't charge German soldiers because they were fighting for their country. That's a noble thing. That's not a criminal thing. And detention is not a means of punishment, it's a means of removing people from the stream of battle. And you do that as a means of protecting yourself, but it's not a way of meeting out punishment. And that's why the conventions on detention all relate to conditions for uh, detainees that are humane, et cetera, et cetera. But if in order to detain someone, you've got to have an adjudication, you get the guy saying, I was carrying a hoe, and you get our guy saying he was carrying a Kalashnikov. Well, that's a he said, he said, isn't it? So we break that tie by bringing a second person back off the battlefield in order to testify that it'll be two to one. This two guys said he was carrying a Kalashnikov, and one guy saying he's carrying a hoe. Well, if you think about that for a minute, the way to win a war then would just be to surrender enough of your people and then uh, for every person you surrender, you take two people off the battlefield to come in and testify. And, you know, it's got the absurdity, the, uh, just incredible absurdity.